and we're back just after last episode. Well, I'm at it. You can have this TM too. Not like I'm gonna use it. Obtained the TM for flame charge. <laughs> nice. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving these to your whooper. You got what you came for, now leave me alone. You're M Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon like you to see, huh? Who are you supposed to be? Fu. Uh, Chanticate? Wait. Fum -fum. Well, if I ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to the space looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because he used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have an idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? Charlos. To me, it looks like he's saying he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would you? They say Team Stars has hold has holded itself up these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First I've heard of a stupid dreamer like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still splittering garbage. Then what about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Starfall? No, this is the first time I'm hearing of it. Huh. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we will always treasure. Caleb, it's me. It seems Mila no longer carries her star badge, the symbol of her status as a boss. She gave it to you, did she? I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Scandaler squad, the the rest of the Shki the Shkielder squad shouldn't last long. Oh, Mila. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now about your reward. I'll transfer, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Okay, earned 5,000 points. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at the TM machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon battle cap capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there, so much that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. H Hello, I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember me, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember. But um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall. As part of my independent studies, you know? The treasure hunt? I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So, here you go. Your bonus rewards from Cassopian. Cassopia. You used to receive lots of Pokemon materials. You should be able to make a ton of, a ton of TMs with those. And Castopia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of the, star, of the Team Star bases. Also, um, I heard about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bases bosses left, so um good luck. Okay.
Okay, so let's see. Dust me. Gym badge. Gym badge. The fighting star badge. Okay. That's fifty one. That's dark. There is. Jim Badge. Jim Badge. Yeah, here. The poison one. That's the one we'll head off to now. We actually don't have any. Five points nearby. Okay, seems like here is the closest fly point. Well, quick travel point. I will see you when we're closer to the Team Star base. And I'm back just out, well, outside of the Poison Team Star base, and Whopper is evolving, so I thought I'd let you see that. I decided to stop by and do some training because, well, we were struggling with the last Team Star base, so I thought I'd get some training in. And Whopper is evolved into Clodseer. Amnesia. Keep current moves. Porky's evolving as well. Did not expect Porky to be evolving. I thought Porky was male. Or in Colony. I will come back as soon as the training is over and we're in the next area ready for the team star base uh, it's you caleb director cavell like step four the name is clive but please don't forget it anyway caleb i owe you one thanks to you i've been accepted into operation starfall why did you join I need answers, that's all. How to resolve the situation with Team Star and what's causing its members' odd behaviour. Odd behaviour? Team Star is the subject of more than a few nasty rumours swirling around the academy, you know. Some say their, bully their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they're holed up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the academy. But these are rumours. The matter I'm directly confronting with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistence, truancy. 
They've all been skipping classes for a while now. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom for over a year. And it seems Team Star's ranks and rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. I informed them that should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all, student, all students affiliated with their team. But I'm afraid there's been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between disillusion or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone to Castopia, I couldn't have come at a more crucial time. It's Castopia, can you hear me? Er, what, another time then. Be careful. <coughs> okay. I see you're coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? Nobody. Well, be warned. That Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down as, easy, as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. It's a bit weird there's no Pokemon here. Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of Navi Squad. Take me to Don Arctus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care, I'm not leaving until you let me talk to Don Arctus. Give me a break, you little doofus. The people over there seem to be arguing about something. What do you want to do? Go say hello. Huh? Oh great, here comes a random, another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star's newbies would be this much of a chore. Hold on Mr. Grunt, I think this boy might be Caleb. Wait, Caleb? The guy who picked a fight with Team Star? Prepare to be raided. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I knew it. Oh boy, this ain't good. Everyone else in the base is asleep since we were up all in last night playing video games. Leave them to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. Yeah? And what's in it for you? Don Arctis would be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. Here's, he's my dear com compadre. And when Kratos calls, no one, one has no choice but to rely on those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks for the big assist. Alright, you villain, if you're after Don Arctus, be prepared to face my wrath. Wait a sec. Discretion is the better choice of valor. As the saying goes, wise choice. Okay, so there's no choice but to battle him. I thought we could actually talk. Alright, you villain, if you're after the dawn, prepare to face my wrath. Bring it on. Yeah. Trainer yourself. Pokemon Trainer, you self stand out gulping. Okay, this will give me a good indication of how fucked I am.
got the new stockpile. Defense throws. Mud shot. Gopping is split up. And the Gopping's defense foul. Special defense as well, okay. It's super effective. Okay. Go up a new stockpile again. What for you, smudge shot? Dropping your stockpile again. Defense throws. Special defense throws. And that's scoping done. Shoot all. Actually, I'll keep it in. Shoot all is. I'll use the fuel to store. Poison job. Not very effective. And poisoned again. Battle. Mud shot. Flush. That does um, a lot of damage. Hold on, hold on. You turn. You turn into what? Never much shot. Shit. Again, hold on. Whopper is, is definitely the MVP of this battle. Talk big, but I'm no warrior. Don Arctus, I'm sorry, I failed you. Caleb, are you alright? I was standing watch when I heard a rock so all sudden. I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Uh, no fair, you had back up this whole time. This by one of the academy students. He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right, I'm not a member of Team Star. But Don Arctus is... Arctus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. 
Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Caleb, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go on ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat, my, uh, my man? Don't worry, I won't bite. Nice work dealing with the guard. Within the base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Navi Squad. Their boss, Actus, designed the outfits for the team. You could say he has a clever hand. The guy's also a bit of a... a bit of a eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next, so since it's beyond us how to predict how he respond with, to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Actus shows his face. Ring the bell on the gate once you're ready to kick off the phase of the operation. Attempt to wipe the Navi squad off the map. Okay, I'm going to end it here because that last battle showed how underprepared I actually am. Between now and next time, I will be training up so that my team is closer to the level that's needed. Until next time... Bye.